So I um, believe that the media center should be open to everyone, all the students, all the teachers to come in anytime during the school day and before and after school so that they feel welcome and feel comfortable um, talking and um, collaborating with each other. So when I was a kid, the library was a quiet place and uh, you know, you'd be told don't touch the books or be quiet and what I want our media center to be for our school is a place of, of learning and a place of where you hear kids collaborating and talking. It's just a place where we can always come before or after school to work on projects or homework or anything. We always have Chromebooks available to do projects or anything online. Um, yeah, you can come get books for anything just for fun or for projects and yeah, you can just always come here to work. things that the district has is a called Google Expeditions. Or touch the orange flag for Google Expeditions. It's a virtual reality experience that has um, pre-planned lessons that students can view that show um, different areas around the world so that we can see the setting of, let's say, a geography or um, a different country or just a different experience than looking at a book. We have Makerspace, which is probably my favorite part of being a library aide and being in a library. We have hands-on activities and then we have the 3D printer, which is really fun to make 3D things on that. We get to Skype people from all around the world and that's really cool to get to come in with our class. When we're Skyping, most of the time there's other students involved. Um, for instance, Mystery Skype um, is we're trying to figure out where the students are located in the world and um, they could just get to meet new people. I think that gives them an opportunity to see the world without leaving here. And I think that's very important to know that there's other things out there than just Andover, Kansas. about a grant like this is like those what ifs become a reality and we can we can deliver more to kids we can impact learning in a different way than we've done before and the cool thing is is kids again they think they're just having fun but they're learning while they're doing it and the, the resources that we'll be able to provide for our kids now are going to enhance that so much We get to be the pilot for not only our district, but maybe for other schools across the, across the state or maybe across the country and what a media center could look like. And the neat thing is, is Heather's passion about sharing this uh, across our district. So uh, this is just the start of transforming what media centers look like. I tell them about my fifth grade teacher and how she brought an egg to class and we, the egg hatched in class and we raised a duck in class. And from that moment on, I wanted to be a teacher because that teacher was so amazing and gave me a different um, experience that I've ever had before in my life. And I want to give that experience to everyone. She really um, loves her students and really wants to make it a place where we can come and learn and be excited about it, not where we have to do anything but yeah, where we get to choose. Heather is, I mean, she's teacher of the year quality. She's got a heart of gold, she's got a heart of service, and everything she does is about kids in our school. And she's the type of teacher that, you know, every, every kid deserves to have once in her lifetime.